In the heart of the dense and shadowy pine barrens of southern New Jersey, a legend has been whispered through generations. It's a tale that chills the bones and stirs the imagination. A story of a creature born from the depths of human fear and superstition. This is the legend of the Jersey Devil that I in the year 1735, on a stormy night that seemed to hold the breath of the world in its grip. A woman known as Mother Leeds gave birth to her 13th child. Her tiny, ramshackle home, surrounded by ancient pines, groaned under the weight of the howling wind. The firelight flickered, casting eerie shadows on the rough-hewn walls as the midwife and neighbors huddled in the corner, their faces pale with dread. Mother Leeds, exhausted and drenched in sweat, looked up with hollow eyes and muttered a curse upon the child within her womb. Let this one be a devil, she whispered, her voice barely audible over the storm's fury. As if in response, a tremendous clap of thunder shook the house, and a strange silence followed. When the child was born, the room was filled with a ghastly silence. The baby appeared normal at first, but within moments, a horrifying transformation took place. The infant's body twisted and contorted, growing into something monstrous. Wings sprouted from its back, its face elongated into a snout, and its eyes glowed with an unnatural fire. The creature that emerged was no human child. It was a beast of nightmares, a demonic entity that defied the laws of nature. With a blood-curdling screech, the creature, now known as the Jersey Devil, took to the air, smashing through the window and disappearing into the night. The witnesses were left in stunned horror, their minds unable to fully comprehend the abomination they had just seen. The story of the Jersey Devil spread like wildfire through the colonies. Farmers spoke of livestock slaughtered in the dead of night, their blood drained and bodies mutilated. Hunters reported strange, hoof-like tracks in the forest, leading to nowhere, and those brave or foolish, enough to venture into the Pine Barrens often returned with tales of a winged creature that haunted their dreams. Over the years, the Jersey Devil became a fixture in the folklore of the region. Its appearances were sporadic but always memorable. It seemed to embody the fears and anxieties of a frontier society grappling with the unknown. And while some dismissed it as mere superstition, others swore by the truth of the legend, passing it down from one generation to the next. The Huntsman's Encounter One crisp autumn evening, a seasoned huntsman named Samuel Hart ventured deep into the Pine Barrens. He was known for his bravery and skill, but even he felt an unshakable sense of unease. As the sun dipped below the horizon, he heard a rustling in the underbrush. Suddenly, the Jersey Devil emerged, its eyes glowing like embers. Samuel fired his rifle, but the creature vanished into the darkness, leaving behind only a chilling screech and a set of smoldering tracks. The Farmer's Livestock In the spring of 1740, a farmer named Ezekiel Thompson awoke to a scene of carnage. His once thriving herd of cattle lay dead, their bodies grotesquely mutilated. He found strange hoof prints around the barn, leading into the forest. The local community whispered that the Jersey Devil had struck again, and Ezekiel's farm never fully recovered from the mysterious attack. The Schoolhouse Incident In 1820, the children of a small schoolhouse in Leeds Point claimed they saw a monstrous creature staring at them through the window during their lessons. The teacher dismissed it as childish imagination, but when they found the school's door clawed and the windows shattered the next morning, the fear became palpable. The Jersey Devil, it seemed, had come to remind them of its presence. The Train Conductor's Tale In 1883, a train conductor named Henry Sloan reported seeing a large, winged creature fly alongside his train as it passed through the Pine Barrens. He described it as having the body of a kangaroo, the head of a horse, and bat-like wings. His account was met with skepticism, but when passengers also reported strange noises and shadows, the legend gained new traction. The Lighthouse Keeper During a fierce storm in 1909, the lighthouse keeper at Absecon Light claimed to have seen the Jersey Devil perched on the rocks, illuminated by the beacon's light. It screeched and took flight as he approached, disappearing into the tempest. The story made headlines, adding to the growing fear and fascination surrounding the creature. The Camping Trip In the summer of 1935, a group of Boy Scouts camping in the Pine Barrens reported a terrifying encounter. 
they were awakened by unearthly screams and saw a dark, winged figure circling their campsite. The boys huddled together in fear until dawn, when they found their tents slashed and strange tracks around the site. Their leaders insisted it was a prank, but the scouts knew better. The car broke down. In 1957, a young couple driving through the Pine Barrens experienced a sudden car breakdown. Stranded in the dark, they heard eerie noises and saw glowing eyes watching them from the trees. When the Jersey Devil emerged, they locked themselves in the car, praying for morning. At dawn, the creature vanished, leaving behind claw marks on the car's roof. The Forest Rangers Report In 1973, a forest ranger named Tom Willis documented multiple sightings of the Jersey Devil over several weeks. He described the creature as having leathery wings, a forked tail, and an unsettling human-like face. His reports included photographs of strange tracks and damaged wildlife, but no definitive proof. Despite skepticism, his detailed accounts fueled ongoing speculation. The Modern Day Sighting In 2004, a hiker named Emily Johnson captured a video of what she believed to be the Jersey Devil while exploring the Pine Barrens. The grainy footage showed a winged creature soaring above the treetops before vanishing. The video went viral, reigniting interest in the legend. Experts debated its authenticity, but for many, it was a reminder that the Jersey Devil still lurked in the shadows, a timeless enigma that refused to be forgotten. Conclusion the legend of the Jersey Devil endures as one of the most captivating and eerie tales in American folklore. From its grim birth on a stormy night to the countless sightings and encounters reported over centuries, this mysterious creature has woven itself into the fabric of the Pine Barrens and beyond. Whether seen as a myth born from fear or as an actual entity lurking in the shadows, the Jersey Devil continues to fascinate and terrify a timeless specter that haunts the imaginations of those who dare to venture into its domain. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the legend of the Jersey Devil. If you enjoyed this story, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more thrilling tales and mysterious legends. Like this video, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below with your thoughts or any other legends you'd like us to explore. Your support helps us keep these stories alive. Until next time, stay curious and stay brave.